I'm Diana from Nautics, and I'm happy to announce our new feature in-app push. So, I think it's high time I explained you what the beast the in-app push is and what about web push then? Before I do it, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell not to miss our next big updates. So, web push and in-app push. Let's start with the main difference. A web push notification leads a user to your website. Users can receive web push notifications in a web or mobile browser. In-app push leads users to your app and push is only available for mobile devices. Well, it was pretty obvious, right? Let's now speak about the other differences and how both push types work. Here we go. User loyalty. Statistics say people are more loyal to in-app push than web push. However, keep in mind that the loyalty of the users is always in your hands. So if you build an effective strategy, you can keep users loyal by using any channel. Urgency. You might have already heard about our smart web delivery system. We use it for in-app push too, so there is no difference here. All your in-app and web push notifications arrive super quickly. Reach. In-app is only available for apps. How surprising. And at Nautix, it's currently only Android, with iOS solutions coming soon. So, the reach of notifications is obviously limited to the app's users. The web push can reach subscribers across plenty of web and Android mobile browsers. Targeting. Nautix, web and in-app push have many targeting options. Meanwhile, in-app offers some additional options. For example, you can target users with older app versions and notify them about new updates. Opt-in. Web push always requires users to subscribe. I mean, you can't send users web push notifications without their permission. In-app will most likely go this way too. The new Android 13 also requires to allow push notifications. Prompt. As we just discovered, the new Android 13 apps will also request to allow push notifications. They will do it with a standard simple prompt. In web push, you can choose from several prompt types and also customize them. For example, let users choose notification topics. Customization. Here is no end to your imagination. You can use emojis, images and catchy tags in both in-app and web notifications. Just look what a cutie you can create. So, I shared the most important information about web push and in-app push. If you want more insights, you are welcome to read our blog article. Check the link in the description. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, okay? See you next time!